you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. Now, I've got a few Marvel reveals I wanted to share with you today, along with a couple of other things. So let's jump right into it, and let's start off with a bit of news from Super 7. So just today, they released images for two of their reaction figures based on Jim and the Holograms. Super 7 is doing reaction figures, the three and three quarter inch reaction figures for Jim. And you can see with these images, they're doing Jim herself, as well as the character Bizazz. Now, both of these figures are currently available for pre-order at our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. For fans of the Loyal Subjects BST AXN 5-inch action figure line, I've got some new official images on that front to share with you. So first of all, we've got this variant version of Napoleon Dynamite. This figure has actually shown up on the Target website. It's not currently available for purchase there but it does seem to indicate that perhaps this figure has started to hit shelves. Now they had previously done a Napoleon Dynamite figure for this line in a white t-shirt, and with this one he's wearing a blue one. He also comes with the Walkman and earphones and an extra pair of hands. The other figure that they've released new official images for is from the Gremlins movie, the Stripe character, which you can see with these is going to be coming with a skateboard that has the BST logo on the bottom of it, as well as a chainsaw and an extra pair of hands. No word on where exactly this figure is going to show up first. I talked about how they were going to be doing Gremlins for this line previously. The other Gremlins figure that they've announced is one based on the Gizmo character. For you Masters of the Universe Origins fans, it looks like new product has started to show up at Walmart stores here in the United States. So first of all, that Flock Panther figure, which is actually a Walmart exclusive, has started to hit shelves. This image comes via the lovely Muff Tack. And the figure, this figure, this flock version of Panthor is going to cost you $39.99. So it does cost about $15 more than the regular version. And again, with the flocked one, it is a Walmart exclusive. Also, I've been seeing reports showing up at Walmart stores here in the U.S. is the Castle Grayskull play set. Now that one had previously been showing up in Canada, but it looks like it's finally made its way here to the United States. Also starting to hit Walmart stores is that NECA Stern Pinball Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle box set, which I've talked about previously. We first got wind of this set coming when it, a placeholder uh, for it showed up on the Walmart website. That placeholder is still there, but the set is not yet made available online. However, again, I am seeing reports of it starting to hit physical stores. Now, thanks to Baxter's Laboratory, we have a look at the actual products inside. Previously, we'd only seen the outer box for this set, but here you can see the Shredder figure that will be included. This is a repaint of their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series Shredder. You can see you've got a metallic tape on his shirt, and you also have, looks like more of a metallic paint on his uh, shoulder pads and his wrist gauntlets and his blade. So um, again, this is pretty much just a repaint. And then other things included in this set include uh, uh, a Krang beanie, which I, I think is might be popular with some folks, a t-shirt, a magnet, and a keychain. So, um, but probably uh, for most of you, the action figure itself might be the thing that you want to get. It is, you know, again, a repaint of a previous figure, but one that perhaps some of you were not able to get originally. Now, like I said, there is a placeholder for this box set up on Walmart's website, but last time I checked, it was not yet actually available for purchase there, but you might start seeing it in your physical Walmart stores now. Okay, now before we jump into all the Marvel news I have for you today, I just wanted to share these new in-hand images for the latest wave of G.I. Joe classified figures. This is the wave that is going to have the new Flint and Lady J figures. Now these in-hand images come via Douglas, who says he runs an online store out in California. He got his hands on a case um, through, I believe, an, an overseas distributor. Um, I believe he has already actually sold through this case already. So um, uh, th these haven't actually started hitting uh, physical shelves or in any real way here in the United States. But, you know, uh, Douglas here managed to get uh, his hands on, on a case of these early. 
So we can see with these new in-hand images. So first of all, it looks like besides Flint and Lady J, we are getting a reissue of Cobra Commander in this assortment. So if you haven't been able to get your hands on Cobra Commander, you'll, you'll get another chance at him. And this is just the regular Cobra Commander with the dark blue colors and everything. Uh, as far as I know, there's no difference between this Cobra Commander and the previous one that they released. We can see uh, with the new in-hand images of Flint and Lady J, both figures uh, to me look pretty good. But one thing I wanted to note here is that we see Lady J is featuring double hinged elbows and she doesn't even have sleeves covering her elbows. So, um, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. You know, do you think Marvel Legends has start doing this with all their female figures? You know, Dwight has indicated at times that, that they would be incorporating more and more double hinged elbows in their female Marvel Legends, but we really haven't seen that in any significant way up until this point. So, um, you know, with G.I. Joe, there's obviously, there's no licensing fees, so they, you know, do maybe have a little more room as far as costs go to do a bit more with the G.I. Joe stuff. But I, I definitely feel like when people start to see the double hinged elbows on the female G.I. Joe characters, that's going to increase the demands to see that same type of thing with Marvel Legends. So like I said, just let me know your thoughts on these. Do you think they look good? Do you wanna see all your Marvel Legend uh, figures have double hinged elbows? Let me know in the comments section below. Okay, now let's jump into the Marvel side of things and let's start off with a little bit of Lego news. So we've got another one of those helmets coming and this one is based on Venom. They'd previously done a Carnage one, which they released as a Target store exclusive. This one should be out everywhere. Its release date is listed as April 26th. These images were put out by LEGO themselves. The cost here in the United States for this set is said to be $59.99 and it's going to have 565 pieces. And definitely to me, it looks pretty cool. You know, he's got the fangs and the uh, tongue hanging out and everything. So if you like these helmet type sets and you're a fan of Venom, this might be one that you want to check out. And again, the release date on this is listed as April 26th. The overseas company ZD Toys has released official images for their upcoming Marvel Avengers MCU movie Mark 7 Iron Man figure. So, you know, ZD Toys is actually, you know, even though they're an overseas company, originally people thought these were bootleg figures when we first started seeing the ZD Toys stuff, but they are officially licensed by Marvel. They're not really allowed to sell them here in the United States because I think they're in too much conflict with Marvel Legends and Marvel Select. The figures generally are between six and seven inch scale, though they tend to lean, I would say, more towards seven inch. But when you're dealing with like a bigger character like Iron Man, you know, these do often seem to fit pretty good with your Marvel Legends. So that's really your determination. But you can see it definitely looks like it has a nice metallic finish to it. Um, and you get uh, multiple pairs of hands with this figure. You get four pairs of hands plus multiple blast effects and you get a flight stand. So um, usually the best way to buy these if you're here in the United States, I found is just to go to eBay. They're not super expensive. So either you have to pay a lot for shipping or if you go with the cheap shipping, then you might have to wait several weeks before it actually shows up. But uh, I don't have an exact release date on when this figure will be out, but probably within the next few months. Now switching gears to Disney Toy Box figures. So I've got some new images on that front to share with you. So first of all, we're getting a new Carnage figure for the Toy Box line. And you can see with these, uh, he comes with uh, a couple of uh, tendril type accessories, a bladed weapon and just a, a normal tendril piece. Overall, I would say this actually looks like a pretty cool figure. It does cost about $12.99. These figures stand in the neighborhood of around, I would say five inches in height. They have, you know, decent articulation, not great, but decent. And with the toy box figures, they are always sold as Disney store exclusive. So you can get them online. This figure is available online as we speak. And if you haven't already, you will probably be able to find these in physical Disney stores very soon. Now, besides Carnage, I also have official images to share with you for that WandaVision 2-pack featuring Scarlet Witch and Vision. I actually talked about this set last week. Some in-hand images had shown up online. But now that we've got the official images for this set and like Carnage, this is available for purchase on the Disney website, the Shop Disney website. And this one, I, I'm pretty sure has started to already hit physical stores. And the two pack here is going to cost you $18.99. 
Okay, now for the final bits of news with the new episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier having aired on Friday. That was episode three. We've now, on Monday, have got some new product reveals from the show. And I believe that is something we'll continue to see with each episode. So we've got three more new episodes of Falcon and the Winter Soldier to go. But with today, from on the Funko Pop front, we got our first look at the Sharon Carter Pop Vinyl figure. She made her debut in the show in episode three. Uh, you know, obviously she was in the movies, but she's making her series uh, debut in in uh, in last Friday's episode, and she definitely was kicking some ass. I don't think we're going to be getting a Marvel Legend version of Sharon anytime soon, but but definitely we are getting a Funko Pop version. And as I'm filming this, this figure is currently available for pre-order at Amazon, but it is not an Amazon exclusive. It should be available everywhere. Zemo is also going up for pre-order today. We had seen the Zemo figure previously. Now switching over on the Marvel Legend front, for Marvel Legends, we've gotten the official reveal for the Baron Zemo figure. So we had seen some of the, this figure is part of the first wave of regular Disney Plus Marvel Legend figures that's going to be coming out this summer. And we had seen images for most of the figures in this wave uh, leak out the other week. We've already seen officially revealed the, the Scarlet Witch and the Vision figures from the WandaVision series. You know, Scarlet Witch in her new outfit and Vision in the white colors. But now we've got the next official reveal, which is Baron Zemo here, um, which will have both a masked and an unmasked head. And he, even though you don't see it here, he should also be coming with a gold pistol. And in the hand there is the book that you saw him have in the Civil War movie with the star on the front for Winter Soldier. The Winter Soldier code names to activate him and everything. We haven't actually seen that in this series. I don't know if we will, but but we definitely saw it in the Civil War movie, and so they are including it with the Zemo figure. Last Monday, we got that John Walker Captain America figure revealed, which is a Walmart exclusive, so that one is not part of the regular wave. There is a John Walker figure in the regular wave, which I'm not really gonna go into details because there are spoilers for that one. You know, I talked about that one as well as the Falcon figure and the other figure is Winter Soldier, which doesn't have spoilers. Winter Soldier isn't spoilers. And my guess is that'll be the figure that we get officially revealed next week. I wasn't sure if this week was going to be Zemo or Winter Soldier, but since Zemo was so heavily featured in the episode, I, I felt like Zemo was probably the most likely bet. And then, like I said, next Monday, we will probably get the official reveal for Winter Soldier and then with, after that, there'll only be two episodes left. I don't know if the second to last episode will contain um, any reveals of the two remaining figures. It's possible that maybe they will wait until the final episode before they reveal the two remaining uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier Marvel Legend figures. We'll have to wait and see. And again, both of those two final figures are spoilers, so I'm not going to go into detail. But if you want more info on that, you can either go to Marvelous News or you can watch one of my older news videos. Now, this wave, this regular wave of Disney Plus figures does not include a Build-A-Figure. It includes the wings for the Falcon figure. It's a Build-A thing like we saw a couple years ago in the Spider-Man movie wave with the Vulture. So um, there is no Build-A-Figure per se in this wave. It is essentially each figure you'll get a piece of Falcon's wings. And you'll need that if you want to complete complete the wings for the Falcon, which will be one of the regular figures in the wave. So um, just note that. And the final figure in the regular wave of Disney Plus figures is going to be based on the Loki series. I'm assuming that one is not going to contain any kind of major spoilers. The Loki series doesn't premiere until June. So by that point, the wave should actually already be starting to hit stores. I don't expect there to be official reveals for this wave on Friday during the Hasbro Fan Fest event. My guess is we won't uh, get the final reveal until after the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series concludes, and then the wave will likely go up for pre-order. I suppose they might show off the Loki figure on Friday if there's no spoilers to it, since since again the Loki series won't have debuted by the time you know they need to show that figure off so it is possible we might get that reveal on Friday during the Fan Fest event but the remaining Falcon and the Winter Soldier figures I, I don't expect to be revealed until you know after each episode premieres. Okay so that's it for today I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about now of course this coming Friday is the Hasbro Fan Fest Pulse event 
where they're going to be showing off uh, lots of product for various brands, including Power Rangers, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Marvel Legends, and Star Wars. Now, things are actually going to possibly be kicking off with reveals uh, Thursday evening. Hasbro has announced they're doing uh, a premium member party event where they have said that there's going to be some uh, reveals. Now, for that, you have to become a, a to actually attend that. And I don't know all the specific details, but you essentially have to pay the 50 bucks to become a premium member. But if they're going to do reveals during that, you know, they're probably going to leak out online uh, from people. So um, I, I don't know how they would possibly prevent that. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we start to get some reveals uh, for everybody, even if you're not a premium member. Um, sometime uh, Thursday evening, but definitely Friday. Friday is the main event. Friday is when we're going to see the majority of the reveals. We'll be having full coverage of everything on the websites um, as they happen. And I will at some point be doing a recap video either late Friday or on Saturday uh, going over everything that is revealed. I may also get a, a video out midweek, depending on how much uh, breaking news there is between now and say Wednesday but definitely look for something towards the end of the week. I do apologize for not getting up the live stream uh, yesterday. It was Easter and I just decided it was probably best to hold off on doing a live stream yesterday, but we will definitely be back this Sunday to talk about all the Hasbro reveals and anything else that's newsworthy. Um, so definitely uh, mark your calendars for the next live stream to uh, take place this coming Sunday around 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. So that's it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay safe out there, guys. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.